Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Danny the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and I've got yet another seed haul. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Between the Baker Creek order and the MI Gardener order and what I got at Home Depot and everything I already had, I should be all set to seeds. I've got seeds coming out the ears. Well, I did an inventory and realized I was out of onion seeds. I didn't have any more broccoli seeds. I needed some more Brussels sprouts. I also needed some more herbs for some videos that I have planned. So I needed to go pick those up. And so I decided instead of going to a Home Depot or a Walmart, I would go to my local garden center. And I remembered that they have things that the other stores typically don't. And I found some fun things, some things I'd been wanting to try and I just didn't bother ordering. Uh, so I went a little crazy again because we all know I'm a seed addict, but hey, there are worse things that I could be addicted to. This at least gives me food. On that note, this is my last big seed haul, I promise. I literally sat down and thought, is there anything else that I could possibly want in my garden? And right now, no. I would like to grow corn, but I don't have the space in any of my three garden spaces to grow corn. Even if I wanted to do just a little patch of like glass gem or, you know, some popcorn or something like that. Like I'd love to get bloody butcher corn and do some popcorn, but there just isn't the space for it. So I'm not going to bother with that until I have my own property and can grow a big, big block of corn to make it worth my while. So to that end, I've got some fun things here. Again, I picked up some of them because I was out. I picked up some of them because I forgot there were some flowers that I wanted. There were some herbs that I needed. One of these is a prize for when I have my 4,000 watch hours live. That, you know, so that I've got my 4,000 watch hours, I've got my 1K, so I'm gonna have a big old party. And I wanted to have a couple of things that were sort of my favorite things to grow. And I, so I got those here so that I can give them away to some of you. That said, time for a seed haul. And we're gonna start out with something that I did not intend to buy because I do have plenty of other beans, but these look so cool. These are French horticultural long shelling beans. Look at those colors, that is so cool. You know I couldn't resist that, I just couldn't. So we're gonna try those this year. This is actually a very good variety to grow up here in New England. It is a bush type, not a pole bean. You can eat them very early and nice and tender as a snap bean, but you do have to get them early because they are a shelling bean and these will develop very quickly and not be as tasty. So then you save them, put them in some soup. So then there's the onions that I very much needed and I'm actually gonna be starting these in about half an hour on a pop-up live stream, which by the time you see this video will already have aired. These are the Sweet Spanish Yellow Utah Jumbo, and I love these. I still have a bunch of them left from last year. They didn't grow very big because I actually didn't feed them mid-season like I should have. I planted them definitely far too late. They were in the cups for far too long. They were allowed to get stunted, so they didn't get as big as I wanted to, but they, they were okay and we're still eating them in soups and stews, so they definitely keep very long and very well as long as they are properly cured. I'm not a huge cabbage fan. The only time I really like have to have cabbage, like mm, I need some cabbage, is if I'm doing like a boiled dinner. But my friend Kristen, where I'm growing the canning garden, she has just discovered cabbage steak, and so I decided I would grow her a couple of heads of cabbage just so that she can enjoy making cabbage steak from her own yard. So we have some Copenhagen Market Early Cabbage. I did need broccoli, so I got some of the tried and true Waltham. And for fun, the Romanesco. Like, look at that, it's so cool. It's like a geometric puzzle. <laughs> I needed some herbs. I was out of rosemary, thyme, and sage. Wait a minute, where's my parsley here? Did I get parsley? I, I actually, there's a reason I didn't get parsley. I already have a whole bunch of parsley in my seeds in the other room. 
Some of my YouTube friends have been encouraging me to sing more in my videos. So I guess um, since we'll do a little herb humor and I'll, I'll, you know, do a song. So that's not parsley, but close enough. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley seed draws merry and time. Remember me to one who lives there. He once was a true love of mine. I failed a little there, but... It wasn't half bad. So yes, I've got my sage, rosemary, thyme, and oregano. I realized when I picked up all my flowers earlier in the year, I did not get any zinnias. How can I not have zinnias? So I got some zinnias and some cosmos. Classic. Something I'd tried to order from a couple of different seed companies, but they were out. But my local garden center, Canes on 114 in Danvers, or is it Peabody? I'm not sure which they had the Malabar red spinach. So I'm psyched for that. I was out of sugar snap peas, so I've got my sugar snaps. You can't have spring without sugar snap peas. They're like my favorite thing. So the rule here for where I am in New England, I'm on the North Shore of Massachusetts, a little bit above Boston. So the rule here, at least my mother's rule, and it always seemed to work very well is you plant peas on St. Patrick's Day, you plant garlic on Columbus Day, and you're good to go. And you know me if I see tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes that I don't currently have seeds for, you know I have to buy them. So I have black crim, delicious, Rutgers, and Brandywine Red. Uh, I also do have Brandywine Black, uh, coming from M.I. Gardner. Yeah, I know. There is one more seed haul coming. <laughs> and I also have uh, seeds for pink brandy wine that I saved myself and they were delicious. So I'll definitely be growing from those again. The last seed packet I have will be a gift for the raffle when I do hit my 4,000 hours. So go ahead and watch some more videos. There's other seed hauls. <laughs> I have plenty of those. But this was my favorite thing to grow from the 2021 gardening season. And you probably don't have to guess if you watched those videos, it is the angel hair spaghetti squash. This thing went crazy. It was super productive and the spaghetti squashes were just small. Actually, I can show you one right now. I've got one left. This is my last angel hair squash. So you can see it's a personal size squash. One of these makes a dinner, like a whole meal for one person, or if you cut it in half, it makes a nice side dish for dinner for two. And they were super prolific. They were delicious. I love them. So I wanted to get a packet of seeds to give out as a gift. So I'm definitely compiling a bunch of other things that will be gifted out. I might gift some of the tomato seeds that I got from Baker Creek or MI Gardener that don't go into my garden this year. So again, you'll have to go and vote on the tomato brackets, which will start soon. I'm filming the tomato brackets tonight after my live. So I'm probably gonna put up this seed haul tomorrow. Then the tomato brackets will go up. There's also my Shed Wars entry video is coming up and I have a fun mail call. So this is gonna be a week full of videos there's my live on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the Suburban Gardenista. So you definitely want to come and check that out. We're going to be talking about um, native plants and uh, how to encourage native pollinators and things like that. So it's going to be a very interesting, fun discussion. And I'll open up the panel after an hour or so to let people on uh, to talk with my guests and talk with the people in chat. And I will see you guys in all of those videos coming up. Hopefully see you Wednesday night. Have a great one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And this year we're going to continue to grow more wicked awesome food from yard to table. Bye bye <laughs>